In the fossil record, Ediarachan fauna were followed by fossils from the Cambrian period, which began about 542 million years ago. Some of the best fossils from the Cambrian are found in Chengjiang, China, and in the Burgess Shale of Canada. These fossils show that animals evolved complex body plants, including specialized cells, tissues, and organs over a period of about 10 to 15 million years. Many had body symmetry, segmentation, a front and back end, and appendages, structures such as legs or antennae protruding from the body. Some Cambrian animals had also evolved shells, skeletons, and other hard body parts that fossilize well. That's one reason why Cambrian fossils are more numerous than, and were discovered before, Ediacaran fossils. The picture on the slide shows what a number of species from the Burgess Shale may have looked like. Do any of these animals look similar to any animal species alive today? Sure they do. Some look like sponges, others look a lot like bugs or crustaceans. Some Cambrian fossils are classified as ancient members of modern invertebrate phyla, such as the arthropod Morella shown here. Other Cambrian animals appear to be early chordates. However, some early Cambrian fossils represent extinct groups so peculiar that no one knows what to make of them. By the end of the Cambrian, the basic body plans of many modern phyla had been established. Why do scientists have more detailed data on Cambrian animals than they do on pre-Cambrian animals? The answer is that the animals from the Cambrian period had evolved shells, skeletons, and other hard body parts which were more likely to become fossilized than the soft bodies of earlier animals, which were more likely to decay.